Hello everyone, welcome to another Go Lava Loon episode for Town Hall 10s. And if you remember, a few days ago I posted a Town Hall 10 guide on how to go Lava Loon. So you gotta know that this is not the only way to go Lava at Town Hall 10 for 3 stars, but it's one of the best ways to do that. If you scout it well, if you follow the steps you will get three stars very easily especially against those town hall nine and a half ones so Swood from my clan is gonna attack this base he was part of the guide with his attack from the previous one so if you don't if you didn't see it I'm, I'm gonna put a link right now in the video you can click on it and go to the guide so let's go over the step quickly so first of all you're looking for the weak spot in the base and weak spot is what I call the the triple well I just made it up now but let's call it the triple and what you want is Archer Queen together with Air Defense and together with one Inferno so once you see those close pretty close to each other you know that you can attack this base so the whole idea was identifying those so once you identify those you know where to attack from you know that you're going to attack from here so what you're going to do is is release two golems few wizards to funnel the way your heroes king is always sent last you gotta know that because you don't want him to, to go around the base running after those buildings around the base so king is going last after the wizards and the archer queen clean the way you're bringing a jump spell to drop as close as you can into the area sometimes you will have to get through one wall but in this case you don't need to so no need for wall breakers and you're gonna drop the jump over here and of course you're bringing a lightning spell for the clan castle troops so the clan castle troops are gonna come out you come at you and you're gonna drop the lightning spell on them and those heroes there there must be at least level 30 that's what I recommend I don't recommend going for three stars with lower level heroes so those troops should be enough to take out the inferno tower the queen the clan castle and the air defense and then you're pretty much left with two rage spells and one free spells the free spell is gonna be used usually to freeze the inferno tower but if it's possible freezing the air defense as well it's even better and from there it basically goes a regular lava loon attack so he's gonna drop two lavas from here with with two balloons i think this one is going down <coughs> sorry with two balloons at each one and one lava over here with two, 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 and wherever you need, you're gonna drop two balloons. And once you freeze the inferno, you also want to use a rage spell to get rid of it before the free spell goes down. So make sure that you use your rage spells in the right ways. Usually, you would use them between air defenses. So, for example, over here would be a very nice location for a rage spell as well, or over here. It would be okay as well so it's up to you I'm not giving you strict rules on how to three star every base you gotta you gotta decide by your own where you want to drop the rage spells and another question that always rises is why you're why we're releasing for example two lavas at this one and one lava at this one and not instead of two lavas over here not just release one lava over here so the reason for that and I've already told that in the guide but I'll tell it again if that air defense for example goes down and even if it doesn't go down the extra lava path will be something like this or something like this from here and then it's gonna go from here so notice how many defenses are attracted to that lava on the way all of those will be attracted to that lava on the other hand if you just send it from here you're gonna maybe take the attention of those ones only and maybe this 
Xbox as well if it's pointed on air so you want that lava to travel inside the base and that's pretty much the only way to do that of course you gotta plan that before I know that people just drop two lavas because they've seen in videos that people do that but you should plan that as well and notice where where the lava is gonna go and decide by yourself if you if that's what you want if if there are no if there are no defenses over here at all so no reason to send two lavas from here just send one one lava from here one from here and one from here and people do that so just decide by the base and you'll be good gotta know that those guides are not are not something you have to listen for 100% many bases are different and you can do different stuff as well but it should give you ideas on how to attack a base and this is definitely one of the good ones for the town hall tens so here goes the attack two golems wizard funneling queen is already out jump spell is dropped and the king is gonna be released last so you gotta wait for the clan castle troops to go out and right before they gather at some point you drop the lightning spell at that point and king is going in air defense is down and now also the queen is down and now the the, the archer queen is gonna take out that inferno tower and from now on you can start the attack so I'm gonna put this attack on blaster zone as well as you remember it's a new technology that allows you to zoom in and out inside the attack so there's gonna be a link in the description and I'm gonna put it on the no I can't put it on the video so there's gonna be a link in the description it just won't let me link from the video so just go to the description under the video and click on it and you will be able to zoom in and out and see exactly what happens on each troop on the map so it's very cool and you should check it out so as you can see this base is going down and he saved few balloons about six or seven balloons to the to the back end part and those balloons are wrecking that base it doesn't stand any chance and it's going down for three stars so let's make it faster see it's a three star hope you like it if you did hit the like and subscribe button don't forget checking the website, the Facebook page, there are links on the video and in the description as well. And also there's a new scouting guide for Town Hall 8, mostly for Town Hall 8, but I think that Town Hall 10s and 8s can benefit as well. Here's a link in the video and that's it, we'll see each other in the next video. Bye bye.